gonna start off by making one of my favorite breakfast eggs on avocado toast and I'm gonna put a little bit of spinach with this this breakfast is so very filling and it's easy to make This grain-tastic wheat bread is from Aldi's. It is delicious. It has all the seeds, seeds and grains in it, and you can see it all inside the bread. It is very filling, and once you toast it, it makes it very, like, hearty. Love this one. I, this is my first time trying this, and guys, it is definitely going to be on my must-have shopping list. Do you like avocados? I love avocados. I love guacamole. I love just avocados with a little bit of salt on it and eating it out of the hull is so good to me. This is one of the good fats that you can have. And guys, avocados just like this, perfectly ripe on some toast is so good. You can even have it with um, tomatoes and some red onions sprinkle a little bit of salt on there delicious a fried egg is another way that i like to have it but this is like my favorite way and it's so filling with the egg mixture that has the tomatoes some spinach 
So I have my vegetables in here, add a little bit of cheese, and there you go on two slices of toast and a cup of carrot juice, which you will see momentarily, and breakfast is done. guys so I'm about to go on campus to do my COVID test but I wanted to show you what I put on very quickly so this sweater here is from Rev Dolls I shared this with you guys um a couple of months ago the beginning of the fall these jeans here are from Ashley Stewart's and I have on my Yukonuba boots um so by Uggs and that's it. I have a t-shirt on up under this because, yeah, it's kind of cool outside. So we're about to go ahead and get on this road and get back home so we can get to work. All right. Okay, so I'm back now from getting tested and picked up our lunch from Slutty Vegan. I got the Chipotle got us the Fussy Hussy. And so, this, and I think this is the one that has the vegan bacon on it. So it's the end of the day guys and so I am done with work. My lunch today from Slutty Vegan was so good. So good. 
that was the first time I had that sandwich. The one that I usually have, it has like the vegan bacon on it. It's still that same sauce, I think. But it was delicious. Sometimes you want something different. And at first I was like, I don't want no burger, but y'all know a slutty vegan burger is not just a burger. And so, um, yeah, so that was good. The fries were good. They were hot. They were, so that was a very good lunch. I'm not hungry. So um, I probably will have something very, very light today. Maybe like a salad. I'm about to, um, my hair needs to be washed. I haven't had on a her really lately. So I'm gonna probably wash my hair and condition it really good. But what I wanted to show you guys before I go for today is this, um, what is this? This is mascara. So I have it on this eye here. And you guys see my lashes over here. And so this um, is from Essence. Now I picked this up from Ulta. And this is what the fake. And these are, it's volumizing and lengthening mascara. Volumizing, it has volumizing fibers. This is what this looks like. I think I paid like $1.99 or $2.99 for this. And like I said, it's by Essence. So you guys see this mascara. I put it on that one, but you see my lashes here. Let me show y'all something. Y'all see that? I like this. I instantly can see the difference and I think you can too. And so I started to put it on my eyelashes and I said, oh, I'm a share them with them this mascara look at that it almost looks like i have on false lashes and you guys know i like wearing my lash extensions and i i don't use the kind of glue that it can stay on a long period of time i use one that's very it's from the dollar tree actually and so you can take it off it doesn't harm your lashes the other one is like cement on your lashes and i did not like that because i don't want to keep my lashes on for a long period of time i would rather just put it on and take them off when i need it and so that lint but yeah but these right this formula right here i definitely can tell the difference brows need to be done and um, the last time I got them done, I got them threaded. And it wasn't that bad this time. I, that's, I probably had my brows threaded about four times. That time it wasn't bad. It was very quick. But once again, I still like having mine arched with the razor. I think it's better, it's more precise. So, but I do, my person who usually would do it, her place closed during the shutdown so she did not reopen so I need to find another place that does them with the razor or I need to figure out how to do it myself and um, it probably will be the latter because <laughs> I don't want anyone that close up on me but anyway so that is it y'all that is everything for today my breakfast was delicious um, you saw what I had for lunch. I shared this beautiful volumizing mascara with you. It really opens up my eyes. I think it make them look a lot brighter. And yep, that is our vlog for today. I hope you guys enjoy spending the day with me. I told you I want to do more of these types of things of what I'm doing. And since, you know, I am I'm working virtually this week, because of the owner. Um, I was like, let, let me show them real time what's, what's happening. So this is what's happening. And um, yeah, so that is it, y'all. I hope you guys once again enjoyed today's video. Like, if you like my channel, go ahead and 
hit the subscribe button and also hit it and select the um, notification that says all notifications that way you won't miss out on any of my upcoming videos also come on over and check me out on my instagram you can find me over there at wani's house and hit that follow button over there and then you will be in the know as to what is to come over here at wani's house all right guys so that is going to be it I am about to go, but before I do, you know what I always say. The next time you're in town, you can always stop by Wani's house, and I'll see you in the next video.